Peace to the family. Peace to you. Peace to you. We're here for another installment, and the name of this particular session is called What They Will Teach You About Real Estate. Shaking my head. SMH. We're going to talk about what they won't teach you about real estate. It's very important, class or session. Peace, family. Ryle Bay, the first one I seen locked in. Peace and love. Yeah, so we need to have this conversation. Oh, you know what? While the people are coming in, let me do this early. So y'all know, y'all know what it is. You go to brotherplight45 at gmail.com. You forward your full name and your phone number, provided you want the mentorship. As I always say, the mentorship is an elaborated program. It's not abbreviated. Consultations are abbreviated. You pay for consultations, and what happens is I send you an email to be debriefed on your specific interests and needs, so that way when I come back to the table, and we convene, whether it be over the phone or in person, I can have certain resources available to you. So I don't want to cut into your time during the consultation. So what I do, $200 out of hour, $300 in person per hour, what I do, I make an assessment based on the things that you need per the email that I ask you questions. And then I'll come with the necessary web links, templates, addresses, or I'll connect you with the network of people that may be able to empower you. That's how you do a consultation. You know, it's not just me giving you what sounds like good advice and then you can't make it applicable. I'm very serious about my approach towards consulting. And so when I give you consultations, whether it's about health or wealth, I do my best to make sure you can be functional in real time. And so that's why I send you the email and make sure that I'm able to empower you. So you go and tell people I've been empowered after that consultation. Okay. And that's how we do that. All right. And so when it comes to the mentorship, that's when I'm coaching you for 45, 60 days, maybe as far as 90 days. And that we're helping you get your credit right, if that's an interest of yours. We're helping you get a line of credit. And the reason why we help you get a line of credit is so that you can allocate it towards the different income streams I teach you about. You see, you get the monies. We help you get the money. Then you put those monies into the income streams I taught you about at your discretion. You keep the rest of the money. This means that that money that's left in excess would be at your disposal to use at your discretion. That's what that means and represents. Okay? So that's how we do it. So rather than have you save up a bunch of money that you don't have, we help you get access to those funds, and then we have you allocate some of those funds into the income streams I taught you about. I don't touch none of that. Only thing that we touch is that what you give us, and part of those monies is going to be used for erecting an irrevocable life insurance trust that's going to be assigned to an insurance policy of your choice. So you can access the cash value of that insurance policy as well. Do we sell insurance? No, we don't. So a lot of times we're directing you to different people and things that we gotta that you gotta go to for your own empowerment. All I'll do is give you direction. It's pretty much what the school system's supposed to do. So with school, let's understand this school is supposed to make you a genius technically. Everybody in society, for the most part, has the potential to be a genius. But we all have the potential to demonstrate genius. And so what happens is with school, because keep in mind that the name of this uh, Facebook Live is called What They Won't Teach You About Real Estate, Shaking My Head. Okay, so this is going to be very important information. Okay, it, it, it varies. 
So what you do, you go to brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T 45 at gmail.com. Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T 45 at gmail.com. Be sure to share this video because I think, I feel like going off in this video because I just had a conversation with someone. I, I said today is the day I may possibly do a lot of streams because I'm feeling the way and I want to share some information because it's, it's annoying. Uh, for instance, <clears throat> people always ask, how is it that you know this stuff about real estate and nobody else does? I believe you're lying to people. I believe you're tricking the people. You seem to know all this information, and nobody else tends to know this information. Nobody else has the time. So let's break it down. We could do this any of a number of ways. Let's start from here. The average person works a nine to five, maybe even more, maybe two jobs, maybe going for overtime to do more than 40 hours. Whatever the case is, the average person works a nine to five. That's eight hours. It takes about an hour to go to work, an hour to come back. That's 10 hours. It's like this. The average person works a nine to five. That's about eight hours. They go to work. They come back from work an hour each time. That's about 10 hours. They say we should go to bed, sleep for about eight hours. Most of us sleep around six. So that's 16 hours out of 24. So that's two thirds of our day that's being used to build other people's future. Okay. When you wake up and you wash up, you're washing up for the purposes of building someone else's dream. You're getting your clothes pressed. You're making sure you clean so you can go to work. When you go to lunch, you're only eating lunch, not because it's nutritional and good for you. You're eating lunch because you need to sustain yourself so you don't be fatigued And as far as building someone else's dream for the rest of the day. When you have dinner, so you can have enough energy. At the end of the day, because you've expended so much energy working for somebody else, building their dream. And when you eat breakfast, the, the idea, the concept is, let me make sure I have something in my system so I have enough energy to build someone else's dream. So first of all, you're working at least two-thirds out of your life, two-thirds out your day. Okay, 16 hours out of 24 hours out of your day in order to build someone else's dream. Okay, even when we look at the word real estate, let's go real quick. When we go to the etymology of the word real estate, what do we get? We get a thing. Real is a thing. Okay, it can also denote property, but it's a thing. Latin just means the thing. Okay, and a state etymologically means condition. Okay, so what is the condition of the thing? Okay, and we, unbeknown to you, you've become real property, but that's another conversation. So, what is your present condition? That's real estate. Okay, what's your present condition? And now, if we look at, let's say, mortgage, what does mortgage mean? <clears throat> Mortgage means a pledge or agreement until you die. Mort means death, like mortuary. Mort means death. Gage is a pledge or agreement. So it's a pledge or agreement until you die. So the reason why this, we can make sense out of this is because the average person wants to get in the house around 30, 35 years old. They settle down and finally get them a house. Our lifetime expectancy is about 72 years old, especially for men. So what happens is you get a 30-year fixed rate mortgage around the time you're 35, Hopefully you've paid it off by the time you're 65, you have seven years left on life, on earth. And what that would stipulate is you made an agreement to pay something until the point of your death, for the most part. So it's a pledge or agreement until you die. That's a mortgage. All right? And mortgages get hypothecated. You can take the time out to look up the word hypothecation. Okay? Because they do things called the conditional interest. They don't even let you know that they have other people invested in your debt. And even if you lose your property due to foreclosure, somebody else will still be making money off the original note. That's why one of the number one ways to stop a foreclosure is to ask for the original note. Because the solicitor, the first creditor, the first financial institution that sold you the property doesn't have possession of it afterwards. That's another conversation in and of itself. We're going to look up the word foreclosure and we're going to look up the word hypothecation. Okay? And so we know mortgage means a pledge till you die. And we know hypothecate. What does hypothecate mean? Hypothecate means to dig deep or create a hole. Right? So we got death we got a hole, and then what does foreclosure mean? To cast away or get rid of a spirit. <laughs> so what kind of condition you're in when it comes to real estate? So in real estate, we're talking about a real condition, right? We're talking about a real condition. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about real estate because we dealt with the etymology. So the condition of a thing, 
okay? And we're talking about your spirit in this particular instance, okay? And so now we have to understand that mortgage is a death pledge, okay? So we're dealing with death, and when some, someone or something dies, they normally get buried, right? So you get buried in debt in the form of a hypothecation, because hypothecation means to dig deep or to create a hole. So you have a mortgage hypothecation. You made a pledge or agreement to pay something. It's a death pledge. And because we're dealing with the element of death, of course there'll be a burial or a hole. But in this particular instance, it may be debt. And now you're being told to get out the house. Okay? Now they're casting your spirit away. And normally when you lose something that you've invested in for 10, 12 years, 5 years, 7 years, you had the dream and the vision you felt so good when you walked in. They gave you the champagne. They gave you the grapes, the roses, and everything. And say, hey, you know, congratulations on your new house. Unbeknown to you, they gave you a deed. But the deed said, ten unbeknown to you, they gave you a deed. And the deed said, tenancy on it. They gave you a tenancy deed. This means you're a tenant. It means you was written out your house. People talking about I'm a property owner and got a tenancy deed. Okay? <laughs> Think about it. The problem is, we're going to go back. So I said, I was inspired to do this video because somebody said, how is it that you know all this information? How come everybody else don't know this information? I think you're lying to your people and attempting to sound smart. Because why wouldn't the people that go to school know this information? School, shul, hell. Okay, education is edited dictation. You could say it's a semantic if you choose. Okay? And diploma definitely deals with war. Student means stick, stab, or prick. Okay? We at war based on the educational system. They don't use these, they don't make these words and terms for no reason. It's my E3 Live. I'm just waiting to pour it in this apple juice. Once it melts a little, just use some of my body heat. But this thing is cold. It's very cold. Okay? So, let's go back. How come I know this information and so many people don't? It's not because I'm any more special than you guys. It's because I've managed to have more time available to me because of my entrepreneurship while realizing the significance of studying things that are truly significant or integral to my survival. So those combination of things normally don't happen. Some people do have some free time on their hands, but they don't get to read and study. Because let's go back to the two thirds. You go into work for a nine to five, and it takes you about an hour to go to work and an hour to come back, and it's 10 hours. And then you go to sleep for about six hours out of the eight suggested. And that's 16 hours and two thirds of your life is used to develop or build someone else's company, corporation, or vision to send their children to school. Then you got one third of your time left. With that one third of your time left, that one third that's left out of your time, this is what you use to cater to your children. If you have your lover, if you have, if you're lucky to maintain a relationship because you're given two thirds of your relationship time. <laughs> a lot of your relationship time is inside the two thirds. So let's say you have your children, your significant other, socializing with friends and family in general, cooking, cleaning, meditating, reading, studying, prayer, introspection. Okay, so we might do cooking we may not do cleaning that well we're probably going to erase the reading too tired and don't have enough time to do that because reading consumes time so a lot of time and vacation so you're not going to vacate read introspect study and meditate as much because with that one third of time you're probably going to say i'd rather socialize because this society doesn't really culture you to Realize the significance of introspection, meditation, prayer, reading, studying. You might allocate Sundays to just do your prayer amongst everybody else. Nothing really by yourself. Or when you get into deep trouble, now you're going to pray and ask for something. But you don't really do this because it's a part of your culture and your spirituality. You do it based on the necessity. Or you do it based on desperation. And that in itself is a problem. Okay? So with the one-third of time you have left... You're going to sacrifice reading, studying, meditation, contemplation, introspection, spirituality. Okay? And then you got to divvy up the time that you choose to use and indulge in amongst your children, your significant other, friends, and family. You don't really have a social life. In fact, you have to go to extremes when you have a social life and, and hit the club when the weekend comes because this is the only time you get your time off. Others of you can't stop sleeping by the time you get some time off. And others of you are running so many errands to catch up with what you didn't get a chance to do during the week because you're working. That, that's, a, that's a lost cause. You don't get to see your children really grow because 
the hours that you have to work contradict the hours you have to raise them. So the school system raised them. The standard of the school system is horrible, and then they get brought up to be like you one day. Not realizing the significance of reading, studying, meditating, prayer, introspection. They don't get to deal with that. So this is very important information. So when someone says, how come you know above everybody else, let me give you another reason. From pre-K to 12th grade, from pre-K to 12th grade, that's 14 years of schooling. 14 years of schooling. From pre-K to 12th grade, that's 14 years of schooling. And in there, they never taught you about the Uniform Commercial Code. They never taught you about security agreements, which is prerequisite to any real estate acquisition. Did any of you know that? Of course you didn't. Because you see, in law, court is paperwork. In the courtrooms where you discuss your paperwork. So we're taught that our paperwork shall precede us. Why? So we don't have to go to court to deal with the terms and conditions as it relates to the creditor and debtor via the UCC1 financial statement. And when we have to make amendments, we do it through a UCC3. And when we're dealing with debt, we deal with through a UCC9. Okay? And if you had assets, then you could properly securitize your assets. And then when we're dealing with securitization, then now we could talk about being a secured party creditor. And this is why your instruments will have a QCIP on it, a Committee on Uniform Securities Identification Procedure. So the financing statement, the UCC-1, would be a synopsis of the actual security agreement. So this UCC-1 financing statement is the abbreviated form of the same when it comes to the security agreement, which is preface to the UCC-1. Never mind if any of this is making sense to you. That's why I got the course, okay? I'm doing the master class. This will be my last one. This will be my, my last, well, not forever, but I'm just busy right now. So this is going to be my last course. We're going to make this thing super duper heavy. Those of you that's in the insurance course, crypto insurance credit, where the finality of that will be this Sunday. Okay? So get locked and loaded. It'll be this Sunday. You'll receive a text update for the time. You'll get the PDFs and everything. <clears throat> okay? It's going to be a powerful thing. It's going to be a very beautiful thing. You're going to love it. But the master class, get this master class. It's $150 discounted rate. And I'm going to show you how to set up your own pensions and turn it into a wealth building stream. You know, I want to guarantee you that I'm going to guarantee you. I'm going to guarantee you that we could raise your credit score in no lower than two to three weeks. I'm saying significantly. I'm not just talking 10 points. <laughs> I'm going to guarantee you that. Do you know? TransUnion, Sparing, and Equifax, they're under the gun right now. They're being sued for a lot of illegal actions that they've been making against us as the people. And if you were to just send them a nice affidavit to let them know that you are aware of what's taking place, a lot of things are going to disappear on that credit report. But how do you know this, Polite? Because I'd be reading and studying... And I got a heck of a memory, and I read and study like the way a child plays video games. A child plays games to the point you got to tell them, stop. It's been 12, 15 hours, man. Relax. Get off the damn video game for a second. Go out and get some air. Well, my family has to tell me that when it comes to reading. Okay? So, yeah, I run, I run around town. I go to the clubs. I do all that other stuff because I'm marketing myself, and I'm also working with clients. I'm networking with different people. But I get hired because of... My proficiency. I've made suitable proficiency in the preceding degrees and several genres of information. It's all up here. It's all up here. And so when a person says, how come I know from pre-K to 12th grade is 14 years you went to school, did they teach you anything about credit? Anything. Did they teach you anything about how to buy a house? Did they teach you anything about real estate? Did they teach you anything about mortgages? Did they teach you anything about mortgage hypothecation? Did they teach you anything about purchase agreements? Did they teach you anything about security agreements? Did they teach you anything about the Uniform Commercial Code? Did they teach you about UCC-1, UCC-3, and UCC-9? 
did they teach you anything about QCIPs? Did they teach you anything about securities? Did they teach you anything about certificates? Remember, securities are paper certificate that attests the ownership and equity as in the case of a stock or ownership of a bond as in the case of a debt obligation which has tradable derivatives. Did they teach you anything about that? No, they didn't. I say these things quite often to you because this is the fundamental. This is these are the fundamentals. These are the this is the foundation of the information that you can leverage to amass wealth when it comes to real estate. And you can sit there and you can just say, man, nah, he's just a slick talker, real fast talker, so he just know how to say these things very fast. But apparently I've taken the time out to study something. And I know too much to have to lie to you. It's just a fact. I know entirely too much to have to lie to you. Our people are very weird. You know, they want to talk to someone who knows, and then when a person knows exceptionally, they don't trust them. <laughs> That's how wild we are as a people, man. That's how wild we are as a people. That's how it get, though. I get it. I know I know how the game go. I know how the game go. Yeah, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com if you're interested in mentorship or consulting. If you want the course, you also put that down, interested in the course. But this is my last run, my last go around with it because I got... Movies that I'm working on and in. I got a new property aboard in Costa Rica, 5,000 feet above sea level with a thermal springs, waterfall, and resort attached. So I'm working on that campaign right there. I got a birthday coming up, and I'm definitely going to be turning up to celebrate all these new ventures. I got a restaurant that will be opening up in Dubai. I'm heading back out to Dubai. I've been back and forth out there to get that job going. I don't always talk about what I got going on until it's actually going on. You know how that goes because I don't want people wishing negativity on my work ethic. I don't want them wishing negativity on my vision. I need to make sure that it comes to fruition first, that it's done, that it's built. It's all spiritual at the end of the day. So I got to build it first. Okay? So make sure you share this video. There's a lot of information. So what they don't teach you in school about real estate, first and foremost, is real estate. That's the first thing. So when people say, how come you know and others don't know? I would say again, from pre-K to 12th grade, did you learn anything about credit? Did you learn about credit card? Oh, pardon me. Did you learn about credit redlining? Did you learn anything about credit redlining? Where they can't disapprove or not accept you based on your ethnicity, but they can based on your zip code. And most races exist in clusters per the zip code. This is a catch-22. And so what, winds, what ends up happening is they got a map with a red line on it, literally, where they say anyone in these areas per this red line, don't give them credit approval. Or if you do approve them, give them the very bare minimum. And so you have to find a way to get around that, which is what I teach you. <laughs> so make sure you get that course. If you didn't get the one that we're presently doing, that's concluding this Sunday. And the master class. The master class is going to pertain to health. Our health demonstration is going to be off the chain. And we're also going to be doing wealth building going to be teaching you about pensions, okay, and how to build your own monies up for pensions. That's wealth stewardship. The reason why wealth stewardship is so very important, because we're talking about generational health, generational wealth. We don't just want to make money in this lifetime. We want to make sure we can perpetuate the same in the next lifetime so another generation of us doesn't have to go through this craziness again. We want to make sure the people that we love and care about, if something happens to us, they have. We want to make sure something happens to us. Let's say you end up in the hospital. You want to make sure that you're getting paid three, five thousand dollars a day or more each day that you ended up in the hospital. So now you don't got to worry about, damn, I got to take two, three days off the job. I'm just going to have to work in this pain. And speaking of pain, that's why we want to talk to you about your health in the first place. <laughs> you know, if enough of us got insurance policies, police brutality <coughs> will be on a decline, especially the ones that lead towards being murdered and incarcerated, beat down and abused because insurance holders will have to dish out so much money. There would be so many uh, monies distributed 
For each day we have to be in the hospital. For each murder that takes place in the community, our children, our wives, whomever, will all be given half a million, a million dollars, two million dollars. From a policy that probably costs us $150 a month or less. Just some of our strategy here. Yes, brother, P O L I J H T 45 at gmail.com. You always leave your full name and your phone number. You always leave your full name and your phone number in the subject matter. Never send an email without your phone number. And make sure I know if it's for consulting, for mentorship, or for the master class that's coming up. So, yes, we're going to teach you about pensions, particularly QRPs, qualified retirement plans. And these QRPs, qualified retirement plans, are cash and tax deferrable compensation arrangements. We're going to teach you about specific. Never to, uh, specific negative advertments for opportunity to kill and counterclaim and admiralty. It's way a counterclaim and counter suit uh, against illegal foreclosures. And I, I would tell you almost every foreclosure is illegal because the way they sold you the property was illegal. So therefore, the latter is illegal. Um, what I will tell you is we will offer you the opportunity. In this coming course, we will offer you the opportunity to boost your credit inside of two to three weeks from you taking the course. And I say boost. Let me let me explain to you what credit is about. Credit is a form of new racial profiling. Though other races are subject to it, don't mistake me. Well, let me tell you something about credit. Credit is a way to disable you for the rest of your life. Furthermore, those who got good credit get stuck somewhere around 750 or so, and they don't know what else to do to get to that echelon of next gen, or at least get to over 800. When when you go in, you can get opportunities that empower you in ways where you could amass the wealth thereafter. So it'd be great if you, are, if you have enough credit standing where you don't have to pay for certain things you definitely need to make money or help you facilitate the same. Okay? That's how real this gets. <laughs> so, once your credit shot, it's like, now I just need money. But this is steadily becoming a cashless society. In fact, I would dare to say it is already a cashless society. Because all the real purchases are taking place electronically. People are using insurance. People are using credit. Okay? And then they're leveraging debt instruments for hard assets. Okay, so that's another conversation that will take place in the masterclass. How do you construct debt instruments in exchange for hard assets? So it's almost like creating your own currency. <laughs> Real talk. That's right. So the reason why I'm, I'm big on the credit, the reason why I'm big on insurance, because we got to stop attempting to put all the cash under the mattress. We got to stop attempting to save all the money and keep putting it under the mattress. That makes absolutely no sense. You couldn't catch up to the people that's getting lines of credit for five hundred thousand dollars. Mm hmm. Now all you people like that trade line talking all that. I hear you. It's whack to me, but I hear you though. It's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's not the worst thing on the planet. But me, I, I'm always looking for the most efficient way to get the job done because we're not getting any younger. <coughs> we would like to have children. We don't have it. And some of us already have children. We got to play catch up. Some of us still can't even afford ourselves based on our vision. You shouldn't be able to afford yourself. Let me say that. Okay? Especially if you're not living above wealth because remember wealth begins at $150,000 a year for an individual and poverty begins at $32,000 a year for a family of four and $15,000 a year for an individual so it's over $100,000 in that gray area between poverty and wealth hey baby let's see that baby let's see that baby oh look at that baby yeah, you know how she is. Doing that sister wound, always hiding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, it's $150 discounted rate. $150, $150 discounted rate. You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Look at that, E3 Live. So for the health part of our demonstration, what we're going to do is make sure that we go on an algae fast. I'm going to do a live stream, possibly today, breaking down the significance of the blue-green, brown, and red algae fast. Red algae is sea moss. Many people don't know blue-green algae in the case of E3 Live. And brown algae in the case of kelp. If you were to add some bladder racks to the equation, awesome. And go on an algae fast. It's very weird that I haven't heard anyone say go on an algae fast. We are juice fast, right? And fruit fast, which could be a little dangerous. You know, it's a lot of sugar. All right, so we got the fruit fast. You see with the veggie fast, if I was on a veggie fast, the veggies are because the sucrose is in the veggies would tell me that there's a limit. You know, sucrose would say, mm, I feel like throwing up or something just happens when you eat X amount of greens. You'd be like, man, I had enough. That doesn't really happen when you eat fruit. It doesn't happen when you eat meat, so you want to be careful. Now, greens, greens will tell you you had enough. <laughs> There's something built in there to make you want to either throw up or just, you just, uh. You feel like you never want greens again for the rest of your life that's until true. later on. Then you'll be like, I'll eat a little bit more. Okay, that's the sucrose in there. It's designed to do that. We have to talk about how some sugars turn into fats. Some fats turn into sugars. How not all proteins are good. People are, oh, you need protein, you need protein, protein. Negro, uh, not all proteins are good. Polite, you're lying. Okay, um, do you want gluten? I can swear there's packages that say gluten-free. You do know gluten is protein, right? Mm. <laughs> so not all protein's good for you. Again, I have time on my hands, so I study. <clears throat> all right? So not all protein's good for you. So that's why I don't like saying protein. We got to get our protein, because the protein that you see on the bag may be the protein you don't need. Mm. Let's call it amino acids, and let's be able to identify what amino acids in particular are inside the foods that we're consuming. Because if we call it protein, it's such a misnomer for something that's supposed to be good for you. Unbeknown to the masses, a lot of proteins are not good for you. And then let's make sure we know when we start dealing with amino acids, are they essential amino acids or non-essential amino acids or semi essential amino acids. So then I know if my body has the ability to make them after having X amount of amino acids or if my body doesn't make them and I have to get them from somewhere else. Okay? So then we get into the category of complete protein, such as in the case in quinoa or the herb, burdock. You see, when you get in these conversations with people, they be like, this plant don't have it, but what about the herbs? That herb don't have it, but what about those plants? You see, their brain just be on meat. They're like, we're going to get our iron for meat, but every time you cook that meat, you change the chemistry of the heme iron that's in that meat, and then it becomes carcinogenic, which means cancerous, all right? And so what happens is, it's just like when you cook oil to a high temperatures, it denatures, and then now you can't get the elements out the oil that you're mm -hmm. supposed to want to get out the oil in the first place. Like you cook olive oil on the hot fire, it denatures. So when you have the heme iron, that's why white folks culturally like their food, medium rare. It sounds like an oxymoron, it probably is. <clears throat> medium rare. You think something should be getting cooked a little bit more at medium, but it's actually being cooked less than medium. Rare. They want the food to be rare, but they don't say, um, give me my meat kind of rare, so they make it sound sophisticated, they say medium rare. Just like Middle East, and you're like, where's the middle of East? I thought East was this way, West that way. Where's the middle of East? Not the middle of East and West, but the middle of East. So what is the Middle East? So the same thing happens with medium rare. It's, they want their food basically singed. Why? Because they know cooking meat causes the iron to become cancerous. And it's easily absorbed as you cook it. The more you cook it, the more easily absorbable the iron is that becomes carcinogenic. <laughs> Because there's no sucrose in that meat to tell you you've had enough. Because you wasn't designed to consume that as a thinking being. The, the beings that don't think on the level of humans can do that. The beings that do think on the levels of humans supposed to did the knowledge a long time ago to evade that. That's how that works. You have this brain for a reason. So if you don't eat like you have this brain for a reason, you do cancer a long time overdue. Okay? It's a long time overdue. So... The master class we're going to get into, you need to get you a CT scan, check your heart rate, check your inflammation. You need to 
get you C-reactive protein tests so you can also check for inflammation and be able to des find the designated areas where disease is precipitating. That's what the C-reactive protein test does. Hair mineral analysis. Those of you that took my holistic mathematics course, y'all should know all this already. You get your hair mineral analysis. Why? Because the human body demands 108 minerals. You get a hair mineral analysis, you see which minerals you're low in, so you can now start eating strategically and specifically because anybody can eat kale because kale is good for you. But you already may have that which kale has to offer. So you might be focusing on things you already have. And this is why we also want chlorophyll because chlorophyll looks just like your blood. It's designed just like your red blood cells, chlorophyll. So when you're drinking chlorophyll, the blood of the plants, is almost like you're replenishing your red blood cell situation and structure. And the reason why you want chlorophyll is because it absorbs the harmful metals that's in your body. One of the things chlorophyll does is that it, it absorbs the harmful metals that's in your body. Amongst many other things. So I'm just mixing this information up because really I'm supposed to be on real estate. And by real estate, etymologically, that means real condition. And we know mortgage means pledge till you die. And we know hypothecation means to dig a hole. And we know foreclosure means to cast a spirit. So when I get a mortgage, I'm dealing with the element of death. And they're going to hypothecate the mortgage. So that which dies, we bury a hole in. Symbolic of the debt that you wind up. You wind up in the hole. And then they tell you. You got to get the heck out your house. So they cast your spirit away. That same spirit that you invested into getting that property. You're like, finally, I got my own house. I'm at my mama house. I'm at my pop house. I ain't got to listen, follow other people's rules. Now they just tormented your spirit because they cast you out of it by way of foreclosure. Okay? In light of the fact, they hypothecated the mortgage. And this is education for you guys. This is edited dictation. A student means to stick, stab, a prick. And diploma is definitely incites war. So you get your diploma. Right? Because you went through the war of, of the educational system. Okay? Yeah, and school is shul, hell. And that's why you get degrees. Because what temperature is hell? It's very hot. See, I don't make these things up. I, and I, I mean, I got bars. I just be playing around with this. Because this ain't even what I'm doing during the course. <laughs> this is preliminary. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you share this video. This is my E3 Live. I like to put it in apple juice. It just tastes mad good with it. <laughs> it's real It's definitely real I'm telling you Can't make this stuff up You do enough study You start making connections And connecting dots and <laughs> It's wild So yeah I want you guys to start getting prepared for The algae fast Because I want people to do that In preparation To the course <clears throat> I want you to get lock into the algae fast In preparation for the course That's going to be something special. This is Martinelli's apple juice. I just put E3 Live inside of it. That's blue-green algae. Highest thing on the planet in protein. You find whatever's high in protein on the planet, the highest as they claim, and it's going to be 60% more protein. as they, More amino acids, we should say, right? We know better. But 60% more protein than that of... What they say is the highest in protein. Blue green algae. My protein source. Helps me rebuild muscle faster. I have so much amino acids that if I exercise, I swell up very fast. That's the trick. <clears throat> All I do is a little bit of exercise once, twice a week, 30 minutes at a time. No more than an hour a week. And I get cut. It's my cheat code. Uh, don't worry about the detractors. <clears throat> you know something about us. The more knowledge is disseminated, the more insecure we grow. The more self-hate becomes evident. Just got to remember, just because we all look dark skin don't mean that that's how we operate. Because two, there's two different types of melanin significantly. <clears throat> skin melanin and it's brain and central nervous system melanin. And if you become that of like your father... You likely to take on your father's traits, just like you like to take on your mother's traits. And if your father was the slave master, and no one wants to address the elephant in the room, then you probably pick up your father's traits. Your father's traits may be self-hate. Unfortunately, that didn't happen once. It didn't happen for just a year. It didn't happen for just 100 years. It happened for over 400 years. And then we go to the transcripts of the slave trade. <clears throat> that took place 
for over 1,200 years. So we combine the Arab imperialism with the European colonization and oppression model. We're looking at almost 2,000 years of people come invading our gene pool, hating us. So it's no wonder many of us don't like ourselves from our own noses, our own lips, the color of our eyes, our hair, the texture of our hair. Yo, it's a lot of self-hate in the community because we have conflict in genes. And the foods that we eat stimulate or turn on genes that would have us work not in our better interests. <laughs> it's real talk. So when I see it, I know what it is. Yo, this guy's saying things that can advance the black community. It's a part of them that switches on. Switch. We must stop him. <laughs> and, uh, and, then you look, and you look at yourself and say, yo, I'm pro-black. And then you do things that's counter that premise over and over. But that's called Conflict in Genes. Wrote a book on it. It's very powerful. Wrote a book on it. It's very powerful. When I'm in this space mentally, the only thing you could do is walk with me. There ain't no combat in me. Because this information is just full of love. It's all love. It's about love. You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Brotherpolite, P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. If you're interested in the course we got going on, it concludes this Sunday. If you're interested, in the master class that's going to be with the health <clears throat> and that's going to be with the wealth on a whole nother level. And I'm willing to say this to you. Part of what we're going to do, I'm going to give you the opportunity that in two to three weeks from the time of you taking that course, we're going to put forward an opportunity for you to raise your credit score significantly inside of two to three weeks. And I know you're saying, well, that's a heck of a promise. And the reason why this is important, because they set the system up in such a way, that's why they didn't teach you nothing about credit when you went to school, because they knew the setup was in. <clears throat> From pre-K to 12th grade, it's 14 years of school, they taught you nothing about credit. So you could destroy it, because once you destroy your credit, you almost destroyed your ability to operate in society. The only thing you could do is save cash, and the, and the society is turning into a cashless society. So now i got to put you on <clears throat> to how to access money is through Qualified retirement plans, pensions, how to amass wealth through insurance, okay, turning insurance into a wealth building apparatus. <laughs> insurance. Now I gotta do that. We're gonna go over that this weekend. It's gonna be it's gonna be intense. Okay? So now I gotta show you all these slick different ways, but I'm gonna bring it all to a close. <laughs> Bringing it all to a close, you know, um, this coming master class. The master class will be in three weeks. Master class is very important. It's no holds barred for the master class, health wise and wealth wise. Because, like I said, I won't have the time to really do courses after this. So I'm gonna put a lot of time, energy, and attention in. It's going to be six PDFs, three for the real estate and economics in general because we definitely done with real estate. You know, we're going to teach you, <clears throat> if you have no money, how to make money off of real estate when you have no money. It's a guaranteed fact. I'll give you your bread back. If I don't show you how to make money off of real estate when you have no money at all, <clears throat> that's a fact. That's a fact. Because we got to learn the information that's most befitting for our present disposition. And shoot, I wouldn't care if you already had a million dollars at your disposal. You should still learn how to make money off of real estate without money. Why wouldn't you want to know that? Why would you only want to spend money in order to make money? <laughs> Why do I charge? It's a small price to pay. If, I, if I'm empowering you to learn how to I'm empowering you to learn how to make thousands of dollars <clears throat> that you should in turn be able to make millions from then
why would I not be able to charge some kind of fee? Why would it not? Then send an email now, Omari James. Maybe you're not leaving your phone number. Because sometimes they won't respond if you don't leave your phone number. Leave your full name. Your phone number. <clears throat> That's it. That's it. That's how we're going to do that. Okay? That's how we're going to do that. Why not? Hold on, real quick, family. Coming right now. <coughs> Dang, it went down to a hundred that <coughs> come in. There we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've been to a million seminars in real estate, and everyone is selling the same bridge to those who don't know better. Yeah, I hear that. I totally hear that. And that's how this game go. <clears throat> but I can tell you this. I can tell you this. You've never. I know a lot of what I talk about. You ain't heard in them seminars. I ain't seen a QRP seminar. I ain't see a use insurance to purchase real estate seminar. I don't see those conversations. And one thing's for sure, we all know, we don't get taught that in school. Yes, we don't get taught how to use insurance to purchase real estate in school. We don't get taught that. We don't get taught UCC in school. <clears throat> I mean, 14 years is a lot. By the time you get to a high school diploma, you're supposed to be an adult, right or wrong. Hold on, baby. Hold on, boo-boo. I know, I know, I know. Mama got you wrapped up like a mommy. I know.
What's up? I'm gonna say hi to the people. I'm gonna say hi to the people. Are you still tired? You tired? Yeah, family. I'm about to go on daddy duty soon. She's like, okay, she's sleeping. I know her. Once she know the, I know. Once she know the milk factory gone, my baby be like, hold on. And then she's looking at me, and I'm like, I ain't the milk factory, exactly. I do deliveries. I deliver you to the milk factory. I deliver the milk to you. <sighs> Yes, so we're going to pick this conversation back up. I'm saying, <clears throat> let's be for real. You're supposed to function as an adult when you get out of high school, man. The goal should be for you to be, not necessarily leave your family's house. I don't agree with all that, that strategy per se, but you're supposed to be able to be able to live on your own. By the time you get out of high school, you should have at least three businesses at your disposal. That's a fact. And if you if you don't understand that, then it's no wonder why our, our situation is so bad. You should come out of high school already with a credit profile, okay, and three businesses. I don't care if these businesses don't accrue that much money per year. You're supposed to have at least three businesses at your disposal. The goal is to have nine incomes ultimately, but you should have at least three businesses at your disposal by the time you come out of high school. We're in an era right now where <clears throat> teenagers, young teens can have their own businesses because of cryptocurrency, because of the internet era. Nothing's stopping you from setting up some drop shipping for your child and, and get them in tune with running their own business. Cryptocurrency doesn't have no age limit for you to uh, generate some revenue from <clears throat> your own creativity, from things that you choose to create. Okay? That's a fact. Yeah, you go to brother P O L I G H C forty five at gmail dot com. Master class is $150 discounted rate. You go to brother P-O-L-I-J-C-45 at gmail.com. Yes. And you put your full name, your phone number, and you let it be known. It's for the master class, or if it's for the $200 consultation, or if you want the mentorship, which is the bigger program. So we can take this to the next level. But in any event, these are my last sessions. My last mentorships, my last master class course, my last uh, consulting because I got that new property in Costa Rica. <clears throat> I'm looking to build a whole movement around it. And I'm looking to create the, I'm going to create or establish the first wellness resort ever. So not that thing where you go vacationing 
and you get sad because you're leaving because you can't take the nice floors and nice walls and jet skis with you. No. The goal of this resort is when you leave, you come back more healthy than when you came. So you get to take your health with you that you obtained when you went there. That's my goal. That's my vision. That's what I'm on. <clears throat> Facts. Yeah, all you have to do is go to brother P O L I G H T forty five at gmail dot com. Hey, thank you. Make sure you share this video. Uh, I, I did get a little preoccupied <laughs> with baby girl. That's another thing. She's another reason why I won't be able to do as much as I was doing because she's such a tender age. And I've always been available to all my newborns every time. <laughs> I've always been available. I've always been available to my newborns. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Oh boy. What's up? How you doing? She always acting like she just came out the womb. Well, she did technically. I know, I know, I know. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's all this mummy attire, mommy got you in. Hmm? I love the smell of newborns. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I gotta, I gotta go. This baby's under man. My attention. Look at that. She's just feeling the way. Like, baby, daddy, you ready? Give me all your undivided attention. That's the end of this session. Love you too, Colo. Nobody paid 200 for a course because I never went through with the full price. So that's incorrect. Yeah. Making all those nice baby sounds. Hmm? Look at that, look at that. See? Boom. She's yawning. She's still yawning. <laughs> oh, man. Hey baby, I ain't never tired. I ain't never tired. I like to nose kiss. I'm not big on people kissing babies. I be thinking their skin is so sensitive. You 
might want to leave that alone. Definitely down with the smell of the new baby. I don't know how they come out just smelling so sweet every day, right? Every day you smell so sweet, right? Every day you smell sweet. Know that? Every day. Ah, right? Oh boy. Yeah, daddy duty calls. Yeah, so just uh, email me. Just email. And leave your phone number. The questions and inquiries. Yeah, they smell is amazing, man. It's like addictive just smelling a baby. Oh, man. That phenomenon is amazing. That baby smells so intoxicating. In a good way. She's still tired. She don't. She don't. She don't like being asleep though. She be mad. She be waking up like, oh shoot, I fell asleep and y'all ain't keep me up. Yeah, just email brotherpolite45 at gmail.com and you'll be good money. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Four daughters. My aunt, Anissa, my aunt, Hotep Atumre, and Nefertari, Camila, Kosawa, Atumre. That's by Aminette, Nisute, Aminette, Senator Atumre, and myself, and I, Nisu Amure, Senator Atumre. So I got two by Aminette. She's one of them. I'm right here. What's up? Knock it off. Okay, knock it off. Knock it off. Come here. 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 All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Hey, say bye.